So what was caning these guys? Maybe they were acting. Then funny enough, I do remember that there was uh, there was a uh, Mombasa incident where people were doing all that. Then we came to know it was uh, just show yeah. to promote the witch doctor. Yeah. Now this wasn't show because number one, these people were killed and they ran. Yeah. Two guys were Hamashimo for a while. Like they disappeared from that area for a while. This house has unearthed a lot of mysteries and legends that have been with many generations ever since. This is just but one of the many supernatural beliefs that has transcended time. What makes Kenyans susceptible to such beliefs? Desire. A good example is a belief that you probably come across every day. Waganga. These are people believed by some Kenyans to solve problems associated with everyday life. Using an orthodox means, these self-proclaimed doctors are said to access supernatural powers for a fee equal to the victim's problem. Witchcraft, mysteries, possessions, haunted houses, are they still prevalent in the 21st century here in Kenya? The belief of the supernatural in Kenya is not a foreign concept. Having a rich cultural history, many of these beliefs have been carried on by generations over the years to the 21st century. A key feature in this supernatural belief is their diversity, which is usually targeted towards soliciting positive moral ethics among Kenyans. Behind me is one of the most popular houses in Wiru, a tiny town in Kenya that is believed to be haunted ever since the 1900s. The real question is, why all these years? Why has it been unoccupied for over 20 plus years? Inquiring further on this particular rumor, my findings reveal that the apartment complex built in the 1900s hosts no supernatural inhabitants. And this led me to this video. Keeping up with the current changing world, some of these practices are utilizing technology to keep up with the market. How long these supernatural beliefs will last with the Kenyan society is just but a matter of time. But is their impact fading away? Or are desperate Kenyans increasingly sourcing answers with them as life challenges continue scarring our communities? <laughs>